I guess they offered him the role. He was like, yeah, sure, I'll come back. Um... And he just looks a lot like Simon to me. If, if I Google him, I'll show you a picture. All right. Came on right before uh, Xena Warrior Princess on Sunday afternoons. Okay. And they were even in the same canon. They'd team up here and there. Oh, so they had two shows in the same fictional universe going on? That's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Anyway, we got this first fight between Nathan Pineapple and Zaber going on, too. So, Nathan starting out with his DK Zaber, starting out with Marth. Interesting pick, not a bad one. You don't see him as much Marth as you do Lucina, though. All right, that's Kevin Sorba when he was Hercules. That is, that is, that is very much a, uh, <laughs> that's Simon. That's, he looks like Simon. All right, goes for that ding-dong, unfortunately. Zaber just a little bit too high in percent, not going to connect right away. Ooh. Oh. He tries to come up to like go for he he tried to take chase, but it just he just got that wrong. Well placed jab by Mark. Oh my god, good Ooh, spot nice dodge. Nice spot dodge by Zaber, but gets smacked by the up air. Double Twice up in air. a row, takes him out. Alright, Nathan at 122%. He's got that rage going right now. Simon on the field. Is he Oof. gonna go for a gimp or is he just gonna go for big damage? Alright. Nathan gets his jump back, Ooh. landing on the stage. It doesn't Kevin matter. Kevin Sorbo takes the stock. Yep, catches the landing. Him. I'm going to call him Kevin Sorbo. Just keep calling him Kevin Sorbo then, man. <laughs> they caught that landing. Pikachu is up right now. Pikachu's pretty good. He can sort of, like, weave around these projectiles. He's small. He's also going to be a lot harder to hit with that whip. This is not a bad matchup either. Sending his projectiles back with the Thunder Shock. All right, misses the roll with the dash Ooh. attack, unfortunately. Good parry by Pikachu. Still, though, Nathan Pineapple very, very much in the lead. Kevin trying to play all the edge guards out best he can, but Pikachu zips Ooh, that around. That was a risky Ooh. parry. He gets it, though. All right, he tries to walk up slowly around Ooh. these projectiles. Unfortunately, gets whipped with it. Man, Pikachu's dash attack is so strong. It is... It is it's always surprising. Like, a dash attack anywhere near, like, quarter stage is possibly going to kill right now. Oh, Ooh. that was a good ledge Kevin trap. takes it with a forward smash right out of his over B. All right. I forget the name. <laughs> All right, so with that, Nathan is on his final character, but thankfully it's his fox. Ooh. He gets the gimp, and that's going to be it for Simon. Last character's coming out. We've got Link. Link, here we go. Seeing a lot of Link today. Yeah, we really are. But he's my man. Oh my goodness. So I don't that, that was a smart play by Nathan to catch that bomb if he meant to do that on purpose. Look at these weak hit nairs into all these follow-ups he's got. Like I said, if he hits you with weak hit nair, you're taking something. Up smash, jab combo, doesn't matter. Oop, trying to go for some Such up tilt juggling, but no dice. Ooh, quick little forward tilt. Ooh, that was actually a very smart shine. Oh no! Oh. Is that going to be it? That is going to be it with that Zaber taking the first game over Nathan Pineapple. That was not what I expected to happen, but with his link, he manages to take Nathan to the bottom blast zone, getting him underneath Pokemon Stadium where he can't recover. Probably, okay! Probably the best way to take a fox out is to get him under the stage if he can help it. All right, quick to choose his characters, choosing the right skins now. Ooh, going for the Pichu. I play Goggles Pichu. Hey, P Goggles Pichu was great. All right, so Zaber taking game one. Let's see what we got. Once again, starting out with Marth. Nathan switching up his uh, character order, but besides that, everything's the same. All right, here I'm we go. I'm excited to see uh, the Pichu come out. Yeah, no, man, Pichu's still good. Like, Pichu still hurt. Like, Pichu hurts himself yeah. a little bit more than he did before, but still a great character. Zaber getting some nice forward tilts. I'm sorry, that was her jabs. What am I saying? Marth playing pretty aggressive air game right off the bat here. I'm not quite sure what that up smash was. Zaber just got some good damage off of it. All right, Nathan coming in with the cargo oh, carry, gets the, the ding dong, air. and that is it. Zaber's first stock gone. All right, comes out Simon. All right, let's Ooh. see what Kevin's got for this fight. 
This is a, this is a very good matchup for Simon, to be honest. DK's so yeah. big. It's like all the ledge traps, Not all of the wonderful luck. projectiles. He's air oh, this is gonna be bad! Oh, Whoa. he goes for the down smash instead of the forward smash! Whiffs the punish! Quick forward air. There it is. All Takes right. the stock. So Fox coming out. That was Nathan's anchor last time. This time he's not. He's not waiting. This is an interesting matchup to me. When I play this, I'm I'm usually Fox, and I keep thinking to myself, oh, I can deflect so much stuff, but it comes out so fast and so often, it's it's beguilingly difficult. Where there's well, there's a few problems with this matchup for Fox. The first one is that you know Simon is always very good at ledge trapping, and not only that, but um. If, if you're using your shine, you, you're stuck in place. There's no, yep. like, canceling it, in like, like in Melee or PM. So if you use your shine, you're, you're slowing yourself down. And not only that, but with your linear recovery, if you're slowing yourself down, you're just making your recovery even more predictable, which just makes Simon's ledge traps even better. Right. So it's... it's I, I wouldn't say it's a bad matchup, but it's one that's a little bit tougher than you initially think going is like oh simon's really good with projectiles i've got someone who deflects those right but with that while i was saying that nathan taking <laughs> nathan just making good work of that Ooh, quick little parry but no dice gets a little up tilt in and fox's combos just go off yeah we didn't actually get to see a lot of Xaver's link on that last set unfortunately but we're gonna see some more of it here potentially well, okay illusion They were getting that bomb out. He was pretty decent playing around with that bomb earlier. The yeah, only, the only seen... bad part about that was when Nathan managed to catch it and start using it against him. For as many links as we've seen so far today Ooh, on stream, that... Ooh, up smash there to up takes smash. it. But I gotta say, for as many links as we've been seeing on the stream today, I feel like we're not seeing a lot of bombs. Just a, a lot of sword play. All right, still going back to Pokemon Stadium too. All right, let's see here. Same characters, probably the same order. Any changes out of Zaber? Ooh, we get a Ganondorf! Ooh, that's a nice switch up. I appreciate it. Curious to see if Pichu's going to come out in the lineup or if he's just going to go for DK right away. Pichu's oh, starting line. out. Hell yeah, let's go. Top of the line. All right, here we go. Nathan Pineapple versus Zaber. They are currently 1-1. All right, home field advantage for Pichu here. Let's see what he can pull. I mean, it's probably a better choice versus, you know, Marth than uh, the DK was. Like, DK Marth into uh, Simon, not fun. Mm. I can't imagine that being fun. So this is just, a, I think, a, a smarter choice in terms of the characters. But Pichu not caring about the nerfs and keeping the Marth damage well above his own. Oh. That DI saves him from that second hit. Oh, Ooh. smash, he gets the Nice taunt. forward smash, catches him on the tail end and stocks him out. All right, Zaber coming in with Simon, or what do you call him again? Kevin Sorbo. Kevin Sorbo. Kevin Sorbo. <laughs> God, that dude does look exactly like he Simon. He really that does. Is, it is disturbing. <laughs> Maybe Xena will be in the DLC oh, just Jesus. to round things out. All right. He gets, the, he gets those jab resets. Not going to follow up with an F smash, though. He tries to start an air combo, but unfortunately, Xavier's DI prevents that from happening. Ooh, that was spot on, but the invincibility frames keep Pichu alive. Now, this is bad. You always got to worry when you're, like, Simon off stage because you can get so easily gimped if you get caught, like, in the middle of your Zare trying to tether back to stage. It's like, that's your only way back. I don't believe that Simon has an up B anymore. Ooh. Nice. Good catch with the axe. Pichu down. Fox is out. Let's go. All he needs is one, like, weak hit and air into, ups, into up smash. Right. And if Fox shouldn't have too hard of a time gimping Simon's recovery if he gets him out far enough. Well, to be honest, at this point, like, if, if he gets one jump in, this is over. That's the thing. If he gets one weak hit and air, Zaber's going to the sky. All right, dodging, and he catches the he catches the bottle, throws it off oh. stage. I think he was trying <laughs> to get rid of his. Comes back. I think he was trying to get rid of his jump there, but unfortunately, Zaber not dying to that yet. Ooh, 
that was close. That was so close. Ooh. All right. Lots of lots of pummels. Nathan going far off stage. Oh my oh. goodness, Zaber with the dare. If he missed that, he was dead, but he knew he wasn't going to miss that. <laughs> Nathan immediately with the cargo throw up throw. And now we got the two big bodies duking it out. Uh oh. For... Oh. Whoa. Yeah, there's no way you can even do anything about that. Once you're on that platform, the moment you get up, you're getting up smashed. Ooh, DK, DK tries to spot too big. dodge. No dice on the spot, dodge. Doria? Oh. Cargo okay, carry, he's gonna try to forward. Yeah, he tries to forward air spike him. Doesn't happen though. Oh, this is bad! Ooh, catches him at the ledge. Quick little down tilt. Zebra looking so strong right now. Oh, he oh, goes no. for the dunk! Nathan goes for the dunk and he goes too deep! Ganondorf takes it! I was scared for a sec there. I really oh. thought Ganondorf went too far down. Changing from Link to Ganondorf worked out. <laughs> All right, with that, Xaver is currently 2-1 in winner semis. All right, let's see what we got. DK and Fox right away. Uh, what's Nathan going to do for his last character? Pichu didn't work out as well as I would have thought it would last time, but he's going Pichu. Oh, Mario. No more Fox. Okay. Xaver sticking with the ca same characters. All right, Mario and our and match Mark is set. Off. All right, let's do this. Once it loads. <laughs> if it comes down to P2 versus Ganondorf, that is going to be... Whoever it's going to be unfortunate for, it's going to be Some, very unfortunate Somebody is going to die fast. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't... I, no one knows who, but somebody is going to die fast. Mario right, getting good the shield grab. real quick. Oh man, this is Nathan an doing pretty well. I'm, to me. He missed spaces that punish though. That's unfortunate. He wanted to get an up air chain going, get some ladder combos in, but a little bit too far to the left. Ooh, okay. Nathan backing off, taking control of neutral. Doesn't want to overextend. What? Ooh, he tries to read the yep, roll. Tries to get the roll. All right, Xaver doing pretty good. Gets that four. He gets that tipper forward. Oh, that oh, was no. bad. The big reversal. This could be. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is very evenly matched. I thought that was going to be stock for Xaver. All right, once again, just hanging out in neutral. Yep. Marth tries to get the read with a back air, but no dice on that one either. Nathan's been working Ooh. to charge up that flood. There we go. He's still got his jump, though. Ooh, or does can't he? can't quite make it. No, All I think right. he used it further off to the side. I think you might be right. So with that, Zaber now on his Simon. Let's see what he can do. That's Gets the ledge trap, but unfortunately goes for the down smash instead of the forward Ooh. smash. Doesn't matter. Kevin takes the Mario out. No problem on the ledge. The second Holy Water catches him. All right. Decent combo. Just keep DK away. Ooh, going for the up airs right away to knock him off the top. Ooh, ledge trap, nope. Xaver with these single jabs, I'm not quite sure what's going on. Maybe he's just trying to, like, test the waters. Ooh, keeps testing him too long, though. He's going to get hit off the top. This DK knows what he wants. You know what that DK wants? He wants Ding Dong. I don't remember Simon. Simon but I will. Ding Dong is <laughs> one is a guaranteed kill combo at certain percents. Oh, it's okay. cargo throw, it's cargo carry, up throw into up into air. Into up air, okay. At certain percents, on every character, it is a guaranteed KO. Okay, gotcha. I will say, I do enjoy playing as DK. <laughs> there it is. Up air, off the top. I enjoy playing as DK, but he's not a character I just never <laughs> naturally gravitate towards. It does come down to Pichu. Oh, going for lightning loops. Yeah, you got the lightning loops, but like I said, somebody's going to die here, and it's yep. going to be fast. Just who's it going to be? I have no clue. Ganondorf having a hard time getting in. And that, with that, Pichu's in kill percent. <laughs> yeah. 
just one F smash on Pichu could do it at this point. Oh, he's not gonna give him that chance though. Ooh, I thought he was gonna Look go at for how much he's there sort of just jumping around through him. Oh my goodness, he barely misses it. Oh, that. Ganondorf. He Tuesday. got him with the Das Boot with that. Zaber taking it 3-1 over Nathan Pineapple. That was not how I expected.